Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York. It is Friday, happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands, 25th day of September 2015 and this is uh, Trending Markets, our weekend review. Interesting week in the precious metals, really interesting week in Trending Markets. First uh, to the U.S. equities markets, Janet Yellen speaks yesterday. Had a little difficulty at the end of her speech, but in essence, she conveyed that interest rate hikes or liftoff, as she calls it, will probably or most likely, I should say, uh, come into play sometime in 2015, meaning this year. We saw the equities markets react in a favorable way with the Dow Jones Industrial Average closing up about three quarters of a percent or 100 points plus on the day to close at 16,314. When we look at the weekly chart, we can see that it's had a dynamic range. The weekly chart is conveyed on this candlestick chart as a single candle type. Last week, we really had this shooting star, but what is really interesting about the last couple of weeks of trading is that we're not you're really getting a clear indication of which way this market wants to go because when you consider the range between the open on Monday and the close on Friday, they're very, very closely bunched together. Although we've had extreme highs and extreme lows, look at this, you've got 16,000 over the last couple of weeks to almost 17,000. So you've had a thousand point range in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, only to see it close within a couple hundred points over these last couple of weeks. So the one thing that I can say is that the market is consolidating with no real clear direction as to where we're going to see this market go. Now, of course, over the week, we have been looking at a basic pattern. Let's go ahead and pull up a daily chart to illustrate that. And so traders, I have just pulled up a daily chart. And the pattern that I'm really talking about is a compression pattern. We have seen in terms of this marketplace over the last couple of weeks, basically an ascending bottom, a series of higher lows and pretty much a flat top. Now we did get uh, the market really spiking on this one particular day. But aside from that, you can see some clear resistance at about 16,800. Of course, this top spiked to about 17,000. Now, we did notice over the last couple of trading days that we actually broke below this particular point. We also noted yesterday that we saw this really long tail come into the market and that tail has really been an indication of a potential bottom in the market. However, we, even though we saw the market generate some positive momentum today, my sense is that we've got to be able to definitively get over this particular ascending set of bottoms here we've really got to take that out before i can get bullish once again as long as it's trading under this we could see the market under pressure the other thing that we're looking at is when we look at our moving average convergence divergence macd what you see is that it looked like it was going to cross yesterday. You can see this little spike up. That's because of today's positive trading activity. However, at the same time, when we look at the momentum, you can see that it's had a clear decline. Hasn't gone negative. This is our zero line, but we certainly, certainly could see that happen. Now, traders, when we look at our daily S&P, and this is the E-mini, as you can see, you can see how it's the MACD is pretty much flatlined as it traded in this really, really narrowly defined range, this congestion area that was so prevalent before this market really sold off. We are still looking at a, a, a channel line in which we have a downward bias. And we are, even though we traded higher on the day, it's nominally higher in terms of the S&Ps. The Dow Jones Industrial, much more robust on the day. The s and is actually closing off about two and a half points at 1916. The interesting market 
market that we've been looking at in today's uh, and throughout the week has been this crude oil market. And we're trying to see, my sense right now is we will see this market track higher. However, what we have seen more than anything else is real support at about $44 a barrel and real resistance at about 48. You can see that it's tracking right within this range. It's right around midpoint. We're certainly not getting any of the kind of downward moves or upward moves that were so prevalent in this market just a few weeks ago, but we are seeing something interesting. And what I'm seeing here is basic consolidation in the market. Consider this, the market moves from about $40 and tracks all the way up to 60. Then from there, it really consolidated tracking within a range. And when we look at the, the majority of the range, you'll see that it's around 57, 58, to about 62 on the high side. So it was tracking in a consolidated manner and then really fell out of grace, spiked up, and now again is giving us that consolidation. Now, whether or not we'll see a continuation of the spike up or it will sell back down is really something we'll have to watch how it unfolds, but my sense is we will probably see uh, the oil market actually track higher, but before I get extremely bullish on it, I really need to see it track and trade on a closing basis over $48 per barrel. Lastly, I do wanna take a look at the dollar index. The dollar had been really finding support at around 94. It had been under tremendous pressure as it tracked down over the first part of September and really the, the last couple of weeks of August here, as it hit this high, found support at 94. Without a question of a doubt, we have support right now. And with statements made by uh, Janet Yellen that we will get rate hikes, we could see the dollar begin to surge again. So I've been, as you know, bullish on the dollar all week. I'm still bullish on oil. The S&P, I really want to see it break one way or the other. The fact that it broke below that ascending set of bottoms made me feel as though we might have a tendency to move bearish. We did get an uptick today. We'll have to see if that continues through next week. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading and we'll talk to you on Monday for another Trending Markets. Bye-bye.